Colombian egg filled arepa, an amazing street food you're gonna love and you can learn how to make it right here, step by step. Let's go! Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Arepa huevo. Today we're gonna make an amazing street side dish that is out of this world. It is arepas filled with eggs and sometimes with beef and tomato. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the masa. So we use pre-cooked corned masa, a cup with a teaspoon of salt and another cup of almost boiling water, very, very hot. We mix this and once we have all of our masa flour hydrated, we pick it up with the forks and we leave it in the bowl to stand for 10 minutes. It is very important to use very hot water because this is gonna rehydrate quicker our masa and then we don't have to be working that dough so hard. When you come back, you just turn it like this for about 10 turns from the sides to the center like I'm doing right now, then we're gonna put it on your counter. Once you have it on your counter, make a roll, start spreading it to the end, pick it up again, turn, and roll it all over again. Here, what we're doing is making a smooth dough, which is something we're gonna need to make our perfectly beautiful egg-filled arepas. Now we have a roll and we're gonna cut five or six slices and we're gonna leave a small piece on the side. Why? Because this is what we're gonna use to glue our arepas once we cut the holes to add the eggs. So we just put them between two pieces of parchment paper or plastic, flatten it to about a quarter of an inch, and that's it. Here you have your arepa. It's incredible. Now we're gonna fry it in a 350 degrees oil. What you do is just add a little bit of masa and once it begins to float up, you're ready to put your first arepa inside. Add your arepa on the side and let it fall. The ideal pan for this is one that is deep and has rounded edges. So you can let it fall on the side and it's deeper and filled with oil. You see how they open up and create a pocket? We're gonna turn our arepa and still keep adding some oil on top so that the top crisps up as well as the bottom. The traditional place where we cook our arepas is our caldero, which is a wide, round-sided and deep pot. So now that we have our arepa ready, we're gonna place it on a rack so it cools a little bit, enough so you can handle it. With a knife, we're gonna slice a piece of the top pocket of the arepa and we're gonna slide an egg into it. You're gonna see now that we have our eggs placed in tiny Colombian coffee cups, which are about an espresso-sized cup. So we take a piece of the masa, a small piece that we left, and we use it to patch up the place that we cut to put in the egg. And if you have a little hole on the other side or on any side of the arepa, add a little masa too, and that will patch it up. So we place our arepa on the oil, cook it for about 40 to 50 seconds on one side, and then turn it. On the next side, if you want an arepa that has a softer egg, take it out in about 10 or 15 seconds. Otherwise, just leave it for about 40 more seconds. All you have to do is check that it is crispy and dry and you're ready to eat it. Each egg has a pinch of salt inside. You're seeing this in real time, so we haven't cut any of the time, even though this video is gonna take longer because I wanted you to see exactly how long it takes to do an arepa with eggs. And if you have the wider pot, like I said, you can add two or three at a time. Not more, because you need so much oil. Remember to keep adding oil on the top 
so that the top is just as crispy as the bottom. As we wait for some of the time to go by while we are frying our arepa, you can see a small video of a lady preparing our arepas on the street side with her oil and everything. This is in my hometown of Barranquilla many, many years ago. It is a beautiful video. It's a little small because it's old. Check it out. Once you have it ready to go, take it out, place it over paper towels so that it drains all of the extra oil. Check it out, you see? It's crispy and amazing. This is how we prepare our eggs when we're starting to make our arepas. We put an egg on each one of those cups and a pinch of salt. And look how we cut them. Now we're filling this one with the meat and we're also adding the egg. You could even add some tomato sauce here right now. Check out how we add a piece of the masa to close the arepa where we cut it to add the egg and the meat. There it goes, back into the oil. Use your spoon so you make sure that it doesn't open where you added the new masa. Keep that egg inside and then just hold it for about five or 10 seconds and you're ready to let it go. Let's start doing the same thing that we did before, adding some oil on top and keeping our arepa almost completely fried on both sides at the same time. They are always going to float, so you're always gonna have to do this. Like keep adding some oil on top of it as you fry. And like I said before, this is real time. We haven't cut any of the cooking time, so it might be longer for you to see, like nothing's happening, but we wanted you to see the whole complete process as it is. So we're cooking now our arepa that has the egg and the beef, and now we're gonna turn it so the other side also cooks too and becomes crispy and delicious. Egg-filled arepas are sold in streets in Colombia in the coastal cities of Barranquilla, where I'm from, or Cartagena, and we love to eat them with lots of things. My favorite, though, is the one that only has eggs. And this is something I used to eat when I had my children young. Every Saturday, I had one. It was like my best thing to have every Saturday morning. And we turn it, cook it on the other side, and look at it. It's beautiful, ready to go, our arepa with our meat and our egg. It is a delicious food to make and something that we eat all the times and we buy on street carts where they're frying them, like you're gonna see on a short video that I took in 2005. <laughs> so enjoy, Shepachi. Chefpachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy Chefpachi!